So this this was the leg of the fawn, but what I want to show you now is um, how to mix wool. And um, that's another technique, mixing wool for the fawn, um, because you will have to do an awful lot of mixing. Hardly anything on this fawn is um, the actual um, single colour. So you might curse me at the end of this project for mixing wool, but I will also show you what you can use to um, make slight shortcuts. Um, unfortunately, it does mean you have to invest in a in a in a small carder, at least one, because I'll show you some flick carding as well. But um, you might have one at home as well. But um, it's definitely worth um, thinking about, and they're not they're not massively expensive. Um, and if you if you are still waiting for your sub box, remember you can add anything to your sub box, and um, it takes quite a lot. A lot. It's up to um, I think it's up to one kilo that we can add in there. And uh, the box itself, or maybe it's up to two kilos, I can't remember now, but it, I don't think anybody's ever struggled to um, add enough into it and then and then we had to send it um, in a second parcel anyway. So I think you can um, add quite a lot into it. So I will show you how to mix wool now. I'm just going to put, in fact, i am put you here. You can just look pretty there. Oh, the head's a bit wobbly on this one. Um, that was my prototype. I'll just stay up there then. Okay, she's just gonna, she's just gonna um, lie down and wait for her mum while, um, yeah, while I'm felting. So in your um, pack, you get these um, colorways there. So you've got your main um, wool, and I'm gonna go a little bit smaller now again, so you can see the colors. So you have um, you have your your black wool that you use for eyes and the nose, but you won't be using all of this, so there will be some left over. You've got the Manx Lauten, which um, we chose because it's such a beautiful colour. It's this lovely caramel, um, yeah, it's just a really lovely colour and works perfectly for fawn. And then you've got your third white here. So this one is the New Zealand Merino, which we sell lots of in dyed varieties, but this is the natural um, um, colour. And then we've got um, our New Zealand Light Yellow. So to get this effect on the fawn, um, where it sort of looks slightly um, golden and um, almost like the sun's shining on it, it's a, it's lying somewhere in the in the um, in the part of the wood where it's been told to stay still until mum comes back. And um, to achieve that, you um, can mix this one with the yellow. You can also get a, a lighter version by mixing the white and the Manx Lauten. And you can even mix a darker version if you need to, like um, it's happened here on the around the, the nose there. And that is basically, uh, that's the Manx Lauten, the brown mixed with the black. In any case, your mixing can take place like this. So you have a strand like that and then you use a tiny tiny amount and you use the tiniest amount of these um, of the yellow in there in fact that's probably too much but I just give it a go and you lay them on top of each other and then um, what you do is you you tear you actually do tear this apart this Manx Lauten does tear easily and that helps you to make shorter um, fibers um, so that if you do something like the head where you don't need great long fibers you can just mix that together with and pull it apart and that's basically how you um, mix a new colorway so you make a blonder version of the Manx Lauten or almost one that's um, a little bit more golden and you can probably um, see the difference I just try and lay it on my hand so you can see the difference it's a slighter um, lighter uh, slightly more light um, no slightly lighter is that right yeah um, version of, of, of this mix and that I think that what makes the fawn so attractive is that there are different shades of the Manx Lauten in there. If you want to add a little bit of white you can, you can add it either with the, with the yellow or you can add it um, just with the brown and the white. In any case the brown will always be the main colour and the other colours will be um, added in in the tiniest um, amounts. I promise you that you will have yellow left over and you will have white left over so there are generous amounts in there because you're using very very little wool and then when you have got um, the mix that you want you um, lay this onto the fawn and the idea is that you lay it so that um, you start um, 
you start from the base and work your way up because that's how naturally the fiber would be over the bottom part here and so you lay this down and then you just stab this into um, the fawn with your felting needle and fasten it on and then the next batch that you would be mixing would then sit on top of that um, to reach over the layer that you've just so ever so slightly over the layer that you have just put on so that is the the way that you will be dressing the whole fawn in different ways when you you start with the head but when you get to the body it works a little bit faster because you you have got um, a larger area to to cover um, straight away so that's a lot faster to cover this now this is okay mixing with a hand for small areas because you're trying to prepare small um, parts of the of um, of the mix if you've got larger areas to cover like the back of it and they're all pretty much the same and you're using um, adding a little bit of white into it you can use um, a carder we sell these two sizes um, this is a small and this is a medium. The idea is that one day we have a large one, but um, that hasn't materialized. So um, don't look for a large one. We've only got these two sizes, small and medium. And you can use um, either size. Um, and the way that flick carding works, and I might have to just go a little bit bigger with the screen again, because otherwise um, I'll go out of the picture. So the way that flick carding works, I'm just going to put that fawn out of the way, is that you've got your wool, and you um, you literally you you sort of flick it off the um, and you even need to go bigger because you can't see that either. And you 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 flick it off your hand. So um, you kind of brush it off your hand until it gets less and less. And then you take it off the carder and then you repeat the process. So in the process of doing that, you is actually mixing even though you don't feel it is doing very much but it is mixing can you see how this is starting to become a mix and um, and then you just take the rest off again so there's still a lot of white there but you can uh, mix it in the way what what's nice about this is that the, the fibers are really being uh, brushed to go, to go in one direction and it does give a really nice neat mix of wool there and so that is a good way to um, speed up your mixing. So if you only want to invest or if you only have got one carding brush, that's absolutely fine. However, if you have two and they don't have to be the same size, but I'm using two small ones here, then you can um, you, you don't need to use your hands and um, hit your hand with these um, steel bristles. You can um, put this on your carding brush. And then you just brush in the opposite direction. So you're brushing the wool um, from one carder to the other. So that when you take this off, can you see how how that is mixed now? You get a nice uh, a nice mix of the wool, and then that can be fastened onto your fawn. Um, if you want to mix it anymore, you just put it back on, and that's um, basically how you mix wool for um, dressing your fawn and um, the white spots are actually added at the very end but you can of course and I just use this one because this is the one that you're making you can of course already um, keep the wool sort of slightly lighter like um, like here at the front where it's um, um, quite pale because under their tummy that they, they stay white so um, that's the way to mix wool and um, hopefully you um, have learned something today 